my name is Kathy Stewart Savage and I am um, the coordinator of an Out of the Cold program in Kitchener-Waterloo. I've done that for 20 years, um, first overnights and last couple of years just a supper and hospitality program. I can't actually remember when exactly I got involved. Um, I've been in and out with various things, most recently Poverty Free KW, uh, a cause that's very close to my heart and Trudy was very supportive of bringing people together and um, being able to work. We had a wonderful group of people that worked on that. Um, I really like the way they recognize everybody uh, of all walks of life and that they strive very hard to hear voices that don't always get heard. I met Trudy first and I, I was trying to remember this in, at her memorial service and I believe it was a gathering for people who had children with learning disabilities and it would have been 35 years ago because my son is 39 and he was four at the time and uh, she was a big comfort to me uh, because I didn't know what to do. I had just found out, I didn't realize my son had learning disabilities and he had a speech problem is what it was and, and she was able to calm me down and, and kind of keep me going and then my second son had more severe problems and uh, it was because of her kind of tutoring that I was able to negotiate with that. I found Trudy to be very much a visionary. Um, she seemed to be able to think three steps ahead of everybody else. Uh, I was always amazed at how she could do that. But the other thing that totally amazed me about Trudy was how she could always um, allow people's voices to be heard without having them dominate a conversation, uh, which is a real gift when you're dealing with people who don't always get heard, and then when they are heard, don't know how to stop being heard. <laughs> I have seen the um, the cities and the region um, become more aware of community opinions and more um, put more stress on that. I've also seen them, you know, I, I think at one time they relied on the Social Development Centre to hear those voices. Um, I think they do more on their own now um, and I think they are a little more discerning in the voices they listen to than they used to be, which is not as good as it was for a while. I, I don't have a, a full understanding of the role because I've it's always in and out, but I would say that I, I think th it was an important way for unheard voices to be heard and it was an important way that politicians could touch base with people who were in touch with the people on the ground level who who were mostly impacted by some of the social um, decisions made by levels of government. I think it's it I think it's opened my eyes to some things that I didn't see before. Um, I've always tried to be compassionate in my work uh, and I think that uh, it, it's helpful to, to have that example in front of you of, of people valuing everyone. Um, I think it, for me it, it's been very valuable. Um, it allows me to, to connect to people who I might not otherwise connect to. I don't I'm not as social as some people and, and some of the people that we connect with are not necessarily the most outgoing and yet they have some very profound things to say. So it's really helpful to be able to hear those voices.